The community was stunned this week as Keita Kelatigui, a 37-year-old St. Cloud food store owner, was found dead in his apartment in an apparent homicide. Friends and neighbors reflect on the shocking loss of a man affectionately nicknamed Pappy. All of this just kind of came out of nowhere. I mean, we these these buildings are really good buildings and we've never had problems with anything like that before and it's just very strange that something would happen like that out of nowhere. He he was so nice to everybody. I've never heard him once raise his voice against nobody, not swear at anybody like it's senseless. Kilatigui's neighbor, Nico D'Angelo, was home the day the body was found and says he woke up to the sound of a woman screaming. I was like, it couldn't be. Like, how could that be possible? Like, he he had no enemies. Like, who, who would do such a thing? Kilatigui, owner of the Kilimanjaro Market in St. Cloud, is described by D'Angelo as being a warm and generous man who was an avid fan of soccer. Yeah, Pappy was the kind of guy who who really gave generally everything he had to anybody. He was just a really nice guy, you know. There's been times where we pretty much had nothing, no food in the crib. He let us borrow some vegetable oil. It, it, it's, it's might, it might be small, but it went a long way to helping and showing that he cared. He was a very caring and kind person. Anyone with information is urged to contact St. Cloud Police or Tri-County Crime Stoppers. Reporting from St. Cloud, I'm Isaac Schwer, WJON.